Yeah, that's right. In Perpetual Guardian Money Matters, we are talking about your will. It is one of the most important documents that you'll make. Now, when you die, it helps ensure that your assets are distributed as you wish and that your children are cared for. Consumer advocate Charlotte Lockhart is here with some great advice. Charlotte, good morning. Now, what yeah. happens if you don't have a will? Well, a will is the piece of paper that allows, allows you to talk to everybody after your death. So if you don't have one, you have no voice in what's going on. Okay, so, like Prince, for example. Like Prince, exactly. And so now the whole family are scrambling and fighting and, and you know, it's all just a huge mess. So even wealthy people, or presumably people with good advice, Advice, they get, get it, it wrong. wrong. Yeah. Okay, so what decisions do we need to be thinking about before we get a will or we make our will? Okay, well, so a will's not a complicated piece of paper. I mean, and often it'll fit on one page. People sort of think it's a big thing to have to do. You choose an executor, which is really just the person who's going to make all the decisions as if they were you and um, when you're gone. Uh, you choose a guardian for your children, mm -hmm. and realistically, that if that's there's no other reason to make a will, do it for that. You should probably talk to the guardian before you put them in your will. Yeah, it's always a good idea. Okay. It's nice to know if you're going to become a guardian. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and that person has custody can have custody and legal responsibility, or you can split that up into over two okay. people. Um, and then you just decide what's going to happen to your assets. Now, generally, you would leave them all to your partner, which is always a good idea, uh, or um, to, then to your children. And then if you want to leave some to charity or to do some good, uh, then you can do that. And then that's basically it. Now, you can put in funeral wishes, and you can put in all sorts of other bits and pieces, but realistic, it's just the three things, choosing who's going to take care of it all, who's going to take care of the kids, and what they're going to do with your stuff. It's the kids and most of what we think about, isn't it, and our stuff. So we could put in if we wanted, who's got, we want you to order dance a jig at our funeral or we yep. want you to play this specific song as we as we get and marched those, out. Those are only wishes, so they're not legally enforceable. Okay. The, 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 other th the other things are. Okay. It can seem a little scary sometimes when you start thinking about wills because it makes us think about our mortality, I guess. I mean, what? Oh, when do we need to start thinking about having a will? Well, the first time you should have a will is when you sign up for KiwiSaver. When your KiwiSaver goes over $15,000, which hopefully it'll do quite quickly, you need a will. Um, but realistically, the best time is if you buy a house, uh, which you may or may not do before mm -hmm. you have children. Okay. And so if you have children, you have to have a will. You need to make it easy for those who are left behind. A will is not for you. It's for those that you leave behind, and it makes it easy for them. What is realistically going to be the worst time in their lives? Yeah, okay, that seems very sensible. Now, just quickly, Perpetual Guardian have made it quite easy too. You can actually do your will online. Yes, so we've set up a, an online will thing. It's it, a website-y thingy uh, called... <laughs> That's the technical term Technical for term, it. yeah. Uh, and it's ewills.co.nz, and there's a special TV3 code that if you put in TV3 wills, so TV3 wills, plural, uh, the, we've got discounted will pricing for them. But uh, So you can do your will online. Every one of our wills is checked by a legal team as well, though, so therefore you're always going to get the best advice. Most people can do their wills online if you're leaving everything to your partner and your children. Um, if you can't do your will online because you need a bit of advice, then it'll talk you through what you need to do for that as well. That sounds wonderful. I am going to get onto that right now. You I need are. to do a bit of an update. TV3 wills. wills. I'm going to go and have a look at that. It sounds really great. Really sound advice. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, we all need to start thinking about it, really, isn't it?